So one fundamental uh, ability to have on the SAT is what's called dimensional analysis. Uh, this is something that's commonly practiced in your chemistry class because you're converting between uh, units uh, such as atoms and moles, if you remember any of that. But that's also super helpful in this situation where we're just trying to get from one unit to the other. In this problem, and we can start from the beginning, we see that uh, there is one type of medicine in two decagram containers. So there's one unit there. Uh, and they want to know how many milligram doses are in that one decagram container. And they give us a chart up here that's giving us some conversions. This is a huge flag for us to know that we're going to have to do some type of unit conversion. And uh, we have to, when you're doing dimensional analysis, the best thing you can figure out is what is your given. And in this case, it is our two decagram container. They're, that's what they're telling us we're starting off with. So we can actually start with uh, this right here. I don't even know if this is the right uh, abbreviation for decagram, not really important right now. And I can put that over one because it's our given and I'll even put it in green. And then everything after that, we're going to multiply by a rate. And that rate has to be able to properly cancel out the units that we don't want and lead us closer to the ones that we do. So we know that one decagram equals 10 grams. Now grams isn't what we want, but at least it is uh, going to help us get rid of decagrams because we know that one decagram is 10 grams and what's great about this is that bam these are now canceled out and now that we have uh grams we want to get rid of that and what how can we get rid of that well thankfully they tell us here that one gram is one thousand milligrams which is actually exactly what they're asking for how many milligram doses and now that we have this all lined up, we see that grams cancels out with grams and all we're left with in terms of units milligrams, we can just multiply straight across here. So two times 10 times 1000, that's gonna give us 20,000. And then our denominator is one times one times one, which is one, and that gives us the answer of D because uh, that is 20,000 divided by one. And uh, if you have any questions about dimensional analysis, uh, I'd be happy to help reach on out.